Hi class. Um, so today I'll be going over the arc tool. Um, you guys have the two point arc. It's just a regular arc on your guys' thing. I have I have one point, two point, three point, and then a pi um, tool. I'm not sure you guys have this. Um, we'll see. And I'll also be doing the follow me tool. Follow me tool is really interesting. It could get a lot of different effects on it. And if you use it wrong, it'll totally mess up what you're working with. Um, so it's, you have to be really careful where you use it and how you use it. Uh, offset is um, another tool we'll be using, and, and I'll show you how to do that. It just makes a carbon copy, basically, and just kind of uh, makes it either smaller or just, it just, you'll see. It's not a, not too complicated. So I'm going to start out by making just um, an arc, just a simple arc. Um, just about that big and I'm gonna make a dome a half dome I'll, I'll uh, let's say and what I want to do is actually go to the center I have no idea if uh, it'll lock on my center it looks like it is so hopefully oh, it didn't go up at all let's go up on that huh? I'll make it about that tall this is good right here. When you're working with a circle, if you want a full dome, you just you just use the circle tool. Below. But I don't want a full dome. I want a half dome or just a regular arc dome type thing um, going on. So what I'm going to do next is make another arc. Just connect the corners, basically. Boom, boom. We got it. And then um, go straight on either one of these points. Just You just hover on one of those points and just either go up against the dotted blue line or the dotted green line. Or the dotted red line, and it'll—that's how it'll carry your arc, or just freehand it. Um, that that seems to be more complicated. So I'm just going on the blue line, and from this side, and I don't want right here. If you pay attention to this side, I don't want that arc to b break through my perpendicular. Okay, see the dotted red line? I don't want it to rise above that. So I'm going to go, and then go until I don't see the line breaking through which is about here or lower this is good that's good right there and um, you could do it two ways if you want just a solid dome you can you could end it here and select your follow me tool select your shape and then just guide it along this line literally follow me okay um, now I didn't go all the way to the center and it shows with this pie with this little thing here so uh, that's okay it's not a big deal um, the center was here in fact so that's all right um, follow me is a very very unique tool so it's um, you got to use it carefully first off so you know if you want this effect that's cool you could delete these these half planes and see inside um, if you want a little more depth to your creation here's where you could use this offset right here offset click on the very edge click it drag it down a little bit and there now you have another arc now you have to do a little cleaning up okay so select this little guy get rid of it get rid of this get rid of that um, I'm gonna get rid of that and that's all you really need is the shape and this line and you can use the follow me tool again click on that and then just follow it up all the way to the red and then click it and then so when you look on the other side it looks a little solid it looks a little more solid right um, and so if you want to make like a dome or something you could just use the circle tool right and uh, here's your center uh, which helps which is really helpful with this version of Google SketchUp I'm not sure if it's available on yours or not um, and I just kind of arbitrarily choose something like that high or something and then you go back to your arc tool Ta -da. top point to another point and just raise it um, I'm gonna raise it from this point raise it so it does not break that 90 degree curve because it'll make it look like somebody pushed in the center trying to make a donut or something but they didn't push hard enough I don't know uh, the the effect is weird so here you go that's cool why didn't it fill in oh, because the line's not connected so once you connect the line it'll fill in again oh see I am breaking the 90 degree plane uh-huh 
you'll see what the effect of that is. Um, you go to your offset, click on it, click down, and I have to do a little cleaning up. Just a little housekeeping here. Okay. Yikes, why did that delete? No, oh, my line deleted. I deleted the whole thing. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's go to my follow me tool. Click on this bad boy. You could follow it this way. You could do the whole thing or just see how it knows kind of. You could just go to the other side real quick and it'll do it for you. Okay, here's your full on dome. Um, see here kind of how it kind of goes down, dips down inside a little bit. It's not very obvious because I didn't do it extreme. But if I had made that arc, uh, let me exaggerate that arc more. So if I had that arc coming up like this, let's say, and I'm not even going to do any housekeeping here. I'm just going to draw it just like this. And look at that. There's, there's your indent. Okay, so you want to avoid these. They, I mean, unless you're intentionally going. If you're like making a hot air balloon, that's okay. That's totally cool. Um, that's totally all right. How would one make an air balloon, I wonder? Hmm. How do you follow a shape that's big up here and small down here? I wonder if that can be done. Huh. Let me try. Why can't I select this whole circle, huh? Huh? I would like to. It's not a big deal. Just make another one. Maybe this is where planning really helps, huh? I'm going to offset this circle a bit down to here. And then I'm going to move it straight up and down. Hey, look at that. Straight up and down. Okay. I wonder if I could uh, do a follow me on that. Whoa, just made a mushroom. That's crazy. That's not what I wanted, though. Right, I wanted. Not that either. <laughs> so here's where it really comes in kind of handy. Let me let me connect these two points because I don't want to do the whole thing. I just want the top to be followed. And this is what I mean. Play around with it so you can see what it hap what happens to it. Okay. Let's see what happens if I delete that. Oh, nothing, nothing good. So I'm just gonna hide it. Okay. Hide this. All right. And there, I think you got your little balloon here. Yeah. Look at that. Nito Bandito. Righty right. Cool. Could even see inside. Alright, check that out. You could color it. Make it translucent. See everything. Yeah. Um, so if you use it correctly, you can make some interesting shapes. I'm making a very complex robot, and so I get a lot of, um, oh, I get just a ton of different errors and stuff. So I have to figure out how to fill in certain spots and make it look smooth. So um, you'll have kind of the same issue um, if you want to get into the complicated robot making um, aspect. Uh, I'm just going to free draw something yep, that's on the flat surface. I'm just going to raise it straight up. And uh, another one right there. Oops, no, not right there. So when you're doing this, you want like your shape to kind of, I want it to be perpendicular to this shape, right? Because I want to, I want to, Ugh, come on. I wish there was a hot button for perpendicular. There you go. I guess you just have to say it. 
Okay. Let's see what, how Follow Me works on this. And I'm just going to swing it right over here. No, I'm not. There. Now that it knows. Oh, there's your wall. There's your quick wall, I should say. Cool. Coolio. I do wonder, I am curious about some of the features of that follow me. So I have freehand and freehand. And I have two lines and they're gonna they're obviously moving away from each other. So what I want to do is connect them bah. using line. <laughs> Just want to connect them. Right, and then I guess I wouldn't have to use a follow me tool on that. Um, so let's let's do something else like um, instead let's make this one shorter uh, than this one, or sorry, taller than this side. Now I want to make like an arc. Let's see if we could do a complicated shape, semi-complicated shape, and use the follow me tool to achieve it. Okay. I want it as tall as this, and I wonder how I could do that. bet you there is a way and I will figure it out by doing that so I want the arc my arc measurement to be as tall as that which will be a helpful guide click down here up here click this corner click this corner raise it up to this point Okay, they should be exactly the same height. Get rid of this measurement. Get rid of that and get rid of that. Okay. And uh, I'm just gonna split this right here. Is that, is that good or not good? No, I don't know if I like that. But we'll, we'll see how it works. Okay, so, hmm, follow me. I somehow doubt that it'll actually widen. Yeah, see, it didn't widen up like I wanted it to. And that's what I want it to do, but I'm not sure how to achieve that. I've, I've done it on accident. I'm going to say that. <laughs> so maybe I'm doing, I'm kind of thinking about it wrong. Maybe I should... perpendicular I'd like it to maintain that perpendicular or parallel at least to that That's good. Okay. Uh, so anytime you grab something in the distance to turn your thing, it'll actually turn based on the point that you clicked on. 
So be careful on <laughs> where you click. If you're clicking in midair, it just kind of spins it where you are, but when you're on an object, it'll select that. Uh, let's grab this now and follow it and use the follow me on it. Let's see how that works. Oof. So far, not so good. <laughs> also, it'll kind of do something like that all of a sudden, and you and it, it's like it clicks for you. So I don't want that. I want the red edge. No, nothing happened. I'm really curious how I got it to work last time. Maybe another attempt here. Line straight up. Line straight up, matching this point. Connecting, this is not matching to that point, is it? Oh, it is. Oh, weird, we didn't. <laughs> okay, that's, that's funny. Maybe I should redo my arcs now that, that they're equal. coming off of here. And this one's just solely um, for like my own little interest. So I think it might work, but I don't know. Okay, let's redo this arc. Shouldn't have deleted that. <laughs> Mark number one, mark number two, okay, cool, ah, all right, and a follow me, mm, nope, still does not widen it up, huh, I wonder how you could do it. I guess you could take it all the way around if you wanted to. All the way around. See, but it overlaps and it does something weird. I don't like that, of course. So, hmm, that stinks. I'll look it up and see how it's done. I'm, I'm sure there is a way. Maybe I'm just not grabbing, grasping the concept fully, but, uh, but that's how you use the follow me tool. So explore with it a little bit. Um, if you figure it out, that'd be great. You know, you could uh, teach me. Okay. Have fun. <laughs>